Of course they celebrated. The Milwaukee Bucks had just won the major basketball championship for the first time in 50 years. But two weeks on, at least 500 fans now have COVID. This night is now being seen both as a moment of sporting success and public health failure. I'm that little boy's hero. Right across America, there are rising rates and growing regrets. I was strongly against getting the vaccine just because we're a strong conservative family. But the viral videos of the unvaccinated tell only part of the story. Because one of the biggest outbreaks is in Florida, where the governor himself has opposed further lockdowns, becoming a vocal critic of President Biden. Why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you. America's leaders are not only struggling with the pandemic itself, but they're struggling with how to make it simply an issue of life and death, not left versus right, not Washington versus the southern states. Its pandemic response was once the envy of the world, not anymore. Done. Good job. Perfect. In Baltimore. Think about the ocean. You want to look away? I'm in. It's 300,000 down, 173,000 to go. Even with a fourth wave incoming, getting its population vaccinated is not the sprint it should be. As we saw, the queues aren't long enough, but you don't have to go far to see how lies about the vaccine are being believed and repeated. Me as a woman, if I want to have a child and I have this vaccine, the chances of me being infertile is like a 50-50 like a balanced scale. And then I'm black as well. So we, we all have to deal with like, there's so much different levels of this vaccine that we really don't know still. And I would rather not be a guinea pig. My son said, mama, you won't get that vaccination. Down the road, as lockdown locks are trimmed, customers get more than just a haircut. Dina has been trained to promote the vaccinations to her customers. Giving a choice is all I can really do. This might seem like an unlikely place to promote the jabs, but the authorities called on her when they needed a new route to appeal to the unwilling, particularly African-Americans. People of color have been tested on and, and there's a history of that. And there's a fear there. But it's in the South where vaccination rates are low and the consequences clear. Case numbers rising and fast. Rohit Katru, News at 10 in the United States.